every citizen and child in the state of Georgia could have burned ten dollars and uh, set it on fire. That's how much money we wasted on going down the wrong roads. This student information system was sort of like the checks in the mail. It'll never come. A lot of work was done to provide resources to put this system together. And frankly, it failed. In Georgia, the creation of a statewide data system was an unfulfilled promise that contributed to suspicion of state initiatives. Georgia's new Chief Information Officer, Bob Swiggum, has earned the recognition of the Data Quality Campaign and the gratitude of stakeholders throughout the state for a bold new approach to clearing this gridlock. You had at this point great user desire. They wanted good data and you had a state legislature that was frustrated with throwing money on, on, on bad systems and um, incomplete data. I think at that point, the state hired someone who knew what they were doing. He had a great track record in private industry, and he came in with one mission, get this long-awaited, much-discussed, um, very expensive investment online. The challenge to this project was not, never the technology. The technology is actually the easy part. The, the more difficult part was getting the buy-in from the local folks. What I normally do is I try to figure out, well, who are the users who are going to use this system? Because those are the ones who will make it successful. I'd go up to a person and I'd say, hi, my name's Bob Swiggum. I'm from the Department of Education here, and, and we received this grant, and I'd like to be able to find out from you what you'd like to do with this grant. Send it back. I said, excuse me? You are the fifth CIO in seven years to tell us that you're going to do something for us, and the last four didn't do anything for us, and I don't think you're going to do anything for us, so just send the money back. Finally, at one conference, I had three ladies come up to me. And they said, Mr. Swiggum, you really need to go talk to Jesus. And I said, I need to talk to who? And they said, Jesus. And I said, uh, okay, well, how do I do that? Well, they meet down in Macon <laughs> once a month. We have 180 school districts in Georgia, and I don't imagine any of them want to have more mandates or more requirements or the state tell them what they have to do. Bob took a different approach. He held himself out to them as a resource and, and said, what can I do to help you? And we're like, okay, maybe I misunderstood what you meant. Who, who exactly is Jesus? And they said, well, it's the Georgia Student Information System Association. They asked what was important to us, what would we like to see back, how could we use this data. Um, we actually came up to the Department of Education and saw a prototype, and the minute we saw it, we started saying, oh, that's great, but how about if we did this instead? So they listened to us as customers as to what would be important to us and what we needed. So that changed the whole mindset of us being involved in the project. The real genius was for Bob and his team to go to schools and go sit with individual teachers and to show them what we were capable of doing and that it could happen in their individual schools uh, next week. We tried to figure out, well, how can we architect something and give everybody what they want? We came up with this concept called the tunnel. It looks just like an extension of the local system. Essentially, it's a button that goes on their student information side that simply transfers them over the tunnel. Once they're in the tunnel, all the work's done by the state. We actually pay the vendor to do that, and then they're up and running, and there's no additional work they have to do. You also have full control over the system. So when you tunnel through to the state side, we give you the full scope of your data. Then you decide as a district who's going to have access to what information. So the districts are in control of the situation. The LDS system provides enormous data that before we may have been, have been paying outside vendors, that now we're getting that from the Department of Education. And with the budget constraints that we're under right now as local school systems and as a, a state government, that's very important. To be able to get that information back in a useful way, we now see the benefit of giving the data to the state to begin with. Well, at the state level, you're, you're going to be looking a lot more at whether a particular school system is being more uh, particularly effective uh, in uh, some curriculum initiatives than other systems, be able to go to that system and find out what it is that they're doing differently, uh, be able to capture some of those uh, best practices, uh, so to speak. The longitudinal data system is an answered prayer for many of us as teachers because we spent so much time 
that could be utilized in other ways, going and trying to get the information. If I wanted to look at any specific student, I can look at every single standardized test that child has taken at a glance and see over the last four or five years how that student has done. We're able to have time to take that information and build the lessons for meaningful learning, which is what our real purpose is. I use data as a starting point. Uh, in the school system that my daughter is currently in, I'm able to use the parent portal and I can look and see she's attending class, I can look at her assignments, I can see what her grades are, I can ask her how did you like that assignment or why do you think you got a B minus in that grade as opposed to you know last semester you got an A in the class. It just it provides the opportunity for me to just really get on board with how she's doing in school. It's your system. It'll be successful if it's what you want it to be. The level of excitement, the level of buy-in is real and it's sincere and they really appreciate what Bob and his team have been able to give them in the way of uh, high quality meaningful data since September of 2010 I think um, he has rolled the LDS out to 145 of Georgia's 180 school districts. You need a leader who actually can mobilize the team, convince the team of the, the importance of the mission, and I think that Bob Swigum was able to do that. He combined, I think, good leadership on the issue with skills and with um, experience. I came back and essentially said the check is no longer in the mail, it's actually arrived. The project overall is a nine-phase project. We're in phase one. Although the project appears to be you know, very successful in its adoption and people really are happy with the features that they can access right now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more that we can do as far as the enhancements go, as far as the features go. So I don't see this project actually ever being complete.